Now to a growing controversy over NHL teams, allowing some of its players to not wear pride jerseys during the pride night game. We've seen this get heated in Florida, Chicago, and now here in Buffalo. Two in your size, Keelan Berrien has the story. To hear that teams are opting out and not having it, it hurts. The president of Niagara Pride is disappointed. Even though the NHL is coming out and saying that they want to still promote diversity and inclusivity, but when you're having teams not participate in something like Pride Night, it's really difficult to continue sharing that message. The message he's talking about is you can play, meaning no matter who you prefer to love, you're not discriminated from the sport. Once you break barriers and you see advances in sports, to take that back seems like a step backwards. Organizations talk about wanting to be more diverse and have inclusivity. You want to find that balance. He says when openly gay athletes were allowed to play professionally in 2013, it was supported. But then players started objecting to wearing the rainbow flag during pregame workouts, similar to what we saw Thursday night from players Eric and Mark Stahl with the Florida Panthers. There is backlash. So in return, they put out this statement on social media. On Wednesday, the Chicago Blackhawks did the same thing, but with the entire team. Do you feel like there's any type of victory because rather than the entire team just saying, okay, everyone scrapped out the jerseys, he's only letting select few players. So it is a small victory, but it's still not the same, in my opinion, as being able to physically see that represented on the ice. In their defense, a few Russian players cited an anti-gay law for not wearing the jerseys. Others use religion as their reason. When you sign up for an organization, a lot of times you will, you'll see where the organization is going or you'll see what stances they're making. But on the flip side, it is nice to know that the Buffalo Sabres are going to have theirs here in Buffalo and we're excited to be part of that on Monday night. Now, Ronald with Niagara Pride is excited to hear that the Sabres will be wearing their jersey for their Pride night game tomorrow, but there's no telling if everyone will be in the jersey. Now, he don't want to force the idea of acceptance upon everyone out of respect, but says this will be a great way to push for inclusivity so everyone can have their respective beliefs. In the studio, Keelan Berrien, Channel 2 News.